So I just come down off of that bench, did some scouting up of that bench that I just showed you guys earlier. Found a bunch of scrapes, a couple of old rubs, and a lot of doe bedding up there. So I was just trying to pick out some tree locations. I wanted to map out where all the beds were. I did find a couple of buck beds, but it's mostly doe bedding up there. So I picked out a couple tree locations where I'll be able to set up for when those bucks make the transition over into this piece of public land. So I'm standing here taking a break, drinking some water. I look down. Fresh deer here, right here. Looks like a fresh kill. Bones. Here's a jawbone. And over here is a fresh coyote. Scat. So we know what happened here. Looks pretty fresh. Kind of, kind of, kind of crazy. I ended up right here at this spot where there's a dead deer laying behind me. Holy crap! All this time I've been complaining about not seeing sheds on public land. Check this out. There's the rest of the deer. Oh, it still has a little bit of brain inside of there and bugs crawling all over the place. So this was pretty fresh. It's a shame this little guy didn't make it through. Well. I know what happened there. That's pretty neat. That was cool to see. I wonder what the story is here. Anyway, that was pretty cool. So I'm gonna keep pushing forward, keep scouting this area. See if I can find some more bedding. Keep getting ready for this upcoming archery season. Well, it won't be long now. Everything's turning green. The bucks are already starting to grow their new antlers for the year. So within the next two months, they're gonna be starting to transition from their winter spots to their summer locations. And most of the bedding arrangements are gonna change as well. With a lot of the deer being in their winter locations, as the bucks are growing their new antlers, the bucks are gonna to wanna to transition into a different style of cover. That's not so thick, somewhere they still feel secure but somewhere where it's not so thick that they're gonna be crashing their antlers. So before all that happens, I'm gonna go in and find some bedding. I'm also starting to see a lot of bear sign again. I haven't seen a whole lot of bear sign the past two years. The year before that, saw quite a few bears. And then for the past two years, they kind of disappeared. I'm pretty sure they migrated to the west. And with some of the bear sign I'm seeing this year, it kind of seems like they're migrating back to this direction. There goes a deer. So I'm on a pretty popular access trail coming into state game land where anybody can walk down this access trail to go fishing, go hiking, do whatever they want. And I know that as people are walking down these access trails, these deer are bedding off to the side just watching. It's an old clear cut right here and also behind me, which is, that's where I'm going over there to look for some bedding. Yeah, I just kicked the deer up over here. So we just came down that access trail. I'm gonna head west here. 
There's a little, there's a little freshwater spring right here that runs down to the creek. I'm gonna go up on the little bench over here. And I know that's bedding over there. So we're gonna go check it out. The deer will bed up here on this bench and this thick stuff. And they'll watch the trail. You can see that access trail that comes down through here. Anyway, this year's already looking pretty promising. Oops. Almost made it. And a lot of the areas that I hunted last year, I didn't have a whole lot of acorns dropping. Just trying not to make a whole lot of noise. It's gonna be cool to see some deer while I'm out here scouting. Leaves are pretty crunchy, so that's not gonna happen. And this year, in most of the areas I hunt, I know the acorns are gonna be dropped. Anyway, I'm getting a little bit off track. So we're gonna go ahead and look for some buck tracks, see if we can find some good beds. Good heavy fresh trail right here. I don't bet there's bedding just on the other side. And a good heavy trail right here. See, this is an old clear cut. It's grown up quite a bit. And to my west start turning into some real thick saplings. It gets pretty concentrated over there. Yeah, so right here's a bed and there's a bed on the other side. See the indent hasn't been used recently. This area that I'm in right now. Cool to hear that. This area that I'm in right now isn't really a major winter spot for the deer. But what'll happen is come September, October, there's some really good food sources in here. Open lots of acorns, lots of brow. All right here we got a heavy trail. And over to my left, here's another heavy trail. Right here, you look at these. This group of four trees. I put my tree stand up there last year. Had a nice eight point come up through. And these thickets right here, but he came out on the other side of the pines, and I couldn't get a shot. And that was the last time I saw him. Let's keep moving up through here. See this heavy trail going right up through here. It gets really thick over here with dogwoods and saplings. Laurel. And you can see they're walking this. There's a bench right here. On the other side of that bench, it's a pretty steep bank. It goes down into the creek and then over into some open hardwoods. They're using this trail pretty heavily. So you can see we just came from where it was flat from the east. Now we're starting to come up a little pinch point right here. It's kind of like a small ridge. Now there's not a whole lot of difference in elevation, but you can see it goes up right here. It's 
So all along this edge, you probably find bedding right up through there. I'm gonna check up here at this log in that pine tree. Man, I wish these guys would quit painting these trees in here. Get into these spots, man. They just start painting stuff up and hanging ribbons everywhere. I'm not trying to complain about it, but I know this area, and I actually know the guy that's doing this. It's ridiculous. That guy comes in here and acts like he owns this place. But this year, I'm gonna change things up a little bit, because I'm gonna hunt around them and let them push the deer to me. Paint, paint, all the way down through there. I know I recently shared a video from another spot that had the same thing. I'll guarantee it's the same guy doing it. Anyway, let's try to ignore it. I'm gonna continue scouting here. So I just come off that trail down here in the bottom from the east and come up this ridge just a little bit. And right here's a pretty big buck bed. And you can kind of see why he's bedding here. He's got good cover behind him, good escape route. And that's what he sees. Now that guy that has the painted trees all the way out through there and the ribbons hanging everywhere. Probably back and forth, so. Anything bedding right here is going to see anybody coming through here. That looks like some more bedding right over here. There we go. Some more bedding. Bang. Coming into all the spots like this, we're at the end of April, picking out all these bedding areas. That way when I come in here to hunt it for archery season, the deer will be transitioned over into this area and I'll know where to set up my locations. It's also a good time to take the opportunity to see what other kind of pressures in here, whether there have been any other people in here or any other hunters in here. All right, let's keep moving. There we got some more bedding. There's a small clearing over here. Bedding here, good exit route. And see everything in front of them right here. And we got some more bedding. You can see how wide open it is right there. What'll happen is when hunting comes in, hate to say it this way, but all the lazy hunters will come down through here and they'll just crash through this little area right here. But then you'll get a couple of those hunters that actually know what they're doing and are gonna be in the back waiting for all those people to push those deer to them. I'm gonna be one of those people.